Hello and welcome to Photoplay Paper. I'm Amy Sonneman and today I get to share how to assemble the Folio 9. Everything you need is inside of the packaging. All of the directions are on the inside cover of the packaging itself. So you'll get all of the directions here. Inside the packaging you'll get the cover. You'll get two pieces of paper like this that have a bunch of fold lines in it, and score lines. Those are your inside pages. You'll also get five tags that go inside the pocket, and then a belly band. Let's go ahead and get started with assembling the Folio 9. We're going to follow the directions step by step. Sometimes it's just easier to see each step than to read the directions and trying to figure it out on your own. The first thing we're going to do is find your two long pieces of paper like this. And you're going to put them on your table bumpy side down. And if this is your first time doing folios, you're going to feel the score lines. That's the bumpy side. If you can feel them, it's the bumpy side. The smooth side up at this point. Okay, so we're going to place them like this. And we're going to put our adhesive down first. And I am going to use the red line adhesive just so you can see it easier when I adhere it to the paper. You can use the tissue tape or tear tape. That works great too, but for purposes of today, I'm going to use the red line tape. Either works great. So these pages are 26 by 6 inches, and these are the pocket page inserts. So when we put our tape down and assemble them, these will become the pockets on the inside of the book. So again, we're going to put the score lines bumpy side face down. We're going to apply adhesive. And if you look at your directions, I'll show you this. We're going to put our adhesive here. Skip one, put our adhesive here, here, and then here on the first one. So we're going to start here. I'm going to remove this. We'll go ahead and do the first one, and then we'll bring the second one in. My paper is wider than the screen, but I want to show you what it looks like with all of the tape put on. So we have the first piece here with all of the tape around it. That will attach to your cover. You've got two score lines, another panel, one score line, and then your L. You'll have another two score lines, and then a single score line here, and then another L. Two score lines, and then the U of tape. This will be where the two pockets adhere together. So the two long strips will adhere together on this side to form the last pocket. Let's go ahead and bring in the second piece and put our tape on that. I'm going to leave the first piece here so you can compare the two. And when you look at the second piece, you're going to have another piece like this that's going to have the adhesive all the way around. Now you're going to make an upside down L on this first piece and then the second piece. So let's take a look at that. So here are your two pieces. So you're going to have two pieces on the left that are completely covered around the four sides with adhesive. You're going to have adhesive here, and then you're going to have the reverse here, adhesive here, reverse here. No adhesive on this far right side, and only the top piece has the U-shaped adhesive here. What that's going to do is create all of your pockets. So we're going to take this bottom piece and we're going to flip it onto the top piece. And then we're going to line up the score lines. So I take a piece of removable adhesive and I just tape that one piece down. Once I get it lined up, I want my score lines lined up. Make sure that everything looks good. I want my edges here lined up. So we can 
go ahead and adhere this piece. So I want all of my edges lined up so we can adhere this piece. All of my score lines have lined up and we're good to go. So I'm going to fold this piece back to expose my adhesive. Then I'm just going to take my adhesive poker or my little poker to remove the adhesive strip on top, the little red tape part, and expose my adhesive. And with that piece of tape here, this removable tape, I know that it's in the right spot from the very beginning, so it's easy to adhere that down. Okay, so now you have this big long piece. We'll remove this. You have this ginormous piece like this. If you flip it over, this will be your center pocket is basically what you just created. Okay. Next we're going to start from the left side and we're just going to fold on each of those score lines so we can create our pockets. This is the piece that will adhere to the front cover. This is the piece that will adhere to the back cover. The first score is going to fold upward. And then the next piece will create that little flat piece like so. Then we're going to fold it back on itself. Same thing, with the that first score line is going to go to the right. The second score line is going to fold over and make the second flat piece. We're going to do the same thing all the way across. So just fold that back. Fold the next one in. Back. There's a lot of paper you're dealing with, so just take it slow. It'll be fine. So what you're going to end up with, and I'll go back in and really score those folds really well to make sure that the flat part stays flat. But when you're finished, you're going to have a piece that looks like this. with six little flat edges. You see that? With your adhesive facing out on both sides, that's what's going to attach to the cover. Okay. Now, this is where people have a differing opinion. Um, sometimes it's easier to decorate when it's flat versus when it's all folded. That's a personal preference. You do you. You do what makes you happy and what makes it easiest for you. Sometimes I put the first one together and kind of get the lay of the land. And then once I know how everything fits together, then I go ahead and when I make my second one, then I'll take a chance at making, decorating the pages first and then um, going from there. So it's just a preference. Just wanted to give you that option in case you feel more comfortable doing that. The one thing I do want to show you is that the inside pages, so if you want it to go edge to edge, it is with that score line, it's probably four and an eighth by six high. So if you want it edge to edge, that's easiest. If you want a little bit of a border, I would cut my paper four by five and three quarters. 
By doing that, it gives you just a little bit of a white border around the whole thing, and it allows you to move it side to side, and it doesn't, you know, accidentally go off the edge and so forth. So this piece, if you want to decorate it, is four by five and three quarters. The next thing we want to do is we want to create our pockets. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to adhere all of the pockets one at a time by removing our adhesive liner. And since you have everything lined up at the very beginning, you're just going to fold that over and roll and rub. There's the first pocket adhered. I used a quarter inch tape because you want as much room. We're going to roll the second one over and just give it a good rub. My adhesive is a quarter inch. That worked really well. You want that pocket to be as big as possible for your little tags. So I put the adhesive as close to the edge here as possible so that my pocket tags slide in and out real easily. You're just going to keep doing that for all of the pockets to create them one at a time. rub it down. When you're finished, this will now all be attached and this will be a solid piece of folds. So all those individual folds are now secured together. So now you have your pockets set like so. Next we're going to bring in the spine. And with the spine, if you look closely at it, there's going to be a large piece here and a smaller piece here in between the score lines. We want that narrow panel to the top and we want the bumpy side of the score lines facing up. So you're going to fold up on each of those score lines and unfold the piece and you're going to position it vertically on your work surface with the widest panel closest to you. So this is the widest panel here. This is the most narrow panel. So you're just going to have it bumpy side up and then fold them back towards you. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to take my bone folder and kind of crease those edges. This is where you're, if you're off at all on your fold, just line it up again and before you score it, make sure it's lined up and then score. I it was off just a teeny bit over here. I just reassessed it, pulled it over, and then scored it really well. And then it matches perfectly. So when you're done, it will look like that. In the next step with the widest panel, of the cover closest to you, you're going to place the folded insert pages with the pocket openings to the left. Okay, so the pocket openings right now are here. You're going to face those to the left. So pockets are open here, facing left. You're going to place that on the cover with the gussets in the left spine area. So three quarters of an inch from that left edge. This will leave enough extra space for the tags to go inside of the pocket. You're going to align the nearest score line on the page insert with the nearest score line on the cover. And you're going to remove the backing paper and adhere the pages to the cover. So basically what you're going to do when it says right and left, this is going to be your left pocket, okay, or the left piece. So this is when they're talking about the left side, this is the left spine area, okay? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to align this with this score line here. So let's go ahead and do that first. So 
So basically what we're doing, I don't know how it, is we're gonna push this into this spine. So when we're done, it's gonna adhere like this, and then your tags will come out on the top like so. So that's what it's gonna look like when it's finished. And you're gonna want to leave enough room at the bottom so that your tags can come out the top. If you're questioning how much room I need just for sanity purposes, I put one of the tags in the pocket, push it all the way in for sanity checks because you know you don't want to mess that up. And then you're like, okay, this is what it's supposed to look like. I'm right on that edge and I'm lined up with the score line here at the bottom. I want to show you the finished book so that this makes more sense. This adorable book is made using Creepin' It Real collection. And it was designed by Jen Carpenter, who is just the most creative designer at Photoplay that I just, she just does the most amazing work and I just love everything she does. She created a shaker box to go on top of her belly band. So cute. So basically, I wanted to show you what this looks like when it's finished before we go adhering our pages. It just gives you a little bit of a sanity check, or at least it does for me. So here are your pages. You've got the thinner edge, the narrow piece here, the thicker piece here. And basically, if you're looking at the two side by side, here's the narrow piece, here is the thicker piece. Okay. Here are all of your pages. And when it's closed, there's just a little bit of overlap of those cute little tags. Okay, so the tags will just pop up just a teeny bit more than the book itself. Okay, I'm going to do a total walkthrough on this when we're finished assembling, but I just wanted to give you just kind of a quick look at what it is you're creating before we go adhering the pages to the inside cover. When you're lining up that piece on the bottom, I would go ahead and get it where the, I want it. So kind of put it where I want it. And remember that piece of removable tape? We're going to pull that back out again. I'm just going to go ahead and put that piece of removable tape to keep that where I want it. Because it's, you want it as even as possible with those score lines to start with. And all we need to do, there's a lot of pages going on here. I'm just going to start with one piece, knowing that it's lined up everywhere else. I'm just going to take one piece off, make sure it's all lined up, and secure that one piece. I'm going to take off that removable tape and then go ahead and adhere those last two pieces of adhesive to the front cover. It's a little trickier to get that backing off, but it's a whole lot easier to make sure that it's nice and flat and aligned by doing it this way. Personal preference, just one of those live and learn kind of things. When you get your adhesive off, you're just gonna rub that down so that it's nice and flat. Now, in a lot of our other books, the spine has adhesive on it. In this book, it's not meant to have adhesive here so that the pages kind of can move more freely. Some people have been adding adhesive there. That's a personal preference. It was not designed that way, but that doesn't mean you can't do that if you like to have those inside pages really secure and tight. So now we're going to do the same thing with that back panel and we're going to adhere the back of the pockets to the inside page here. So take off your adhesive. Since the front cover is already lined up, the back will line up a whole lot easier because of it. So you're going to place that down. And I stand it up on its edge like this, and then I roll it up. 
Then I flatten it down like so. So now you've got your book together. You've got the five pockets. You have all of your tags that go inside of the pockets. There are five individual tags. Which you can decorate any way you'd like. Then you've got all five tags inside of your book. It'll look like that when it's finished. Next we're going to adhere the belly band. And the belly band is really the last thing that you want to do after you've created your book and went ahead and decorated and made it as thick and full as you want. Because if this is a little bit more poofy, you're going to want to give yourself a little bit of extra room when you adhere it here. So you can kind of move this a teeny bit to give yourself a little bit more room if needed. If this is super poofy and full, you can always adjust your belly band to make sure that it fits properly. Okay. When you have your belly band laid out flat, bumpy side up, you're going to take a look at it and there's a long piece here, okay, this piece here, and then there's a shorter piece here. You're going to take and put your adhesive on this shorter piece. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to fold all of those pieces inward, like so, to make your belly band. And the adhesive goes on the bottom of the longer piece. And I'm not going to adhere that because that happens last. You're going to want to decorate it all and do all of your fun things and adhere it at the very last minute to be able to make sure that your book closes properly. When it's adhered, it will slip over the top like so and keep it closed. Let's take a look at Jen Carpenter's album now to see what this plain album goes to when it's fully completed and decorated. So again, here is the completed book. This is Creepin' It Real. She created this fun shaker piece that goes on top. You slide off your belly band and she created this adorable little album for Halloween. This is a piece that lifts up so you can slide in a picture or one of your three by four little inserts, cute little flip page here to put a photo. Actually you could put two photos there. This is just attached with a piece of paper and scored. This piece here is just a three by four cut apart. Another photo slips in there. So cute. A little pop up with this cute, cute little pop-up piece here that she made. Nice room for a four by six photo there. Love the, the different pieces that she stacked together here to make a fun little pocket. You can put your photo or journaling, another little piece here. She keeps the inside piece so that it's not sticky so that you can pull that photo out if you choose, but you can also adhere that photo down and not worry about it. Another little cute little embellishment here. Love how she used all of the sticker pieces and all of the three by four cut aparts. Little pocket here. Another fold out. Love that idea. It just gives you so much more room for journaling or ephemera or photos, either either way. Another little pocket here. Love this three-dimensional with some foam dots. And then you're binding with this cute little 3D piece here. Let's take a look at the different tags that are in the pockets. So you can decorate one side or both, depends on what you're, if you need more room, there's plenty of space to add more photos or journaling. A 
and just use your extra pieces of paper to be able to do that. Easily put multiple photos or journaling pieces inside of there. The tags on top will stick out just a little bit from the top. It's meant to do that. You could easily add twine or ribbon to kind of add embellishments to the top to add a little more fun to the album. Then we put the belly band back on top and that's what it looks like complete. I hope that helps you understand how to assemble the Folio 9. We appreciate you stopping by today. Have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.